member for Oshawa. Mr. Speaker, it's widely known that tobacco products are deadly, and for decades, Health Canada has called for stricter policies against smoking. Marijuana has the same carcinogenic potential to cause harm to the body. Mr. Speaker, how can the Minister of Health, the minister responsible for promoting good health to Canadians, throw out decades of scientific research by Health Canada and promote recreational use of marijuana? Good question. Good Mr. Speaker, I had the honour yesterday of speaking the, at the United Nations General Assembly Special Great. Session on Drugs. I used that opportunity to talk about Canada's drug policy, which is grounded in scientific evidence, which employs a collaborative, compassionate and comprehensive approach to drug policy. We are concerned about access to marijuana for young people. Therefore, we are going to be introducing a new regulatory regime which will keep our children safe free from the har potential harms of marijuana and keep the, the pro profits out of the hands of criminals. Mr. Speaker, like many people, I am disappointed that the government chose New York to announce its plan to legalize marijuana instead of doing it here in the House in front of the representatives that Canadians have elected. There are a number of questions that haven't been answered. Can the Minister of Public Safety tell us what he will do to keep drugs away from children? And how does he intend to equip police officers to be able to stop drug-impaired drivers? Public Safety. Mr. Speaker, uh, uh, the Public Safety Department is working very closely with the Justice Department and the Health Department to produce uh, a regime for Canada in respect of marijuana. Uh, that will, in fact, do a far better job in keeping our kids safe, keeping this product out of the hands of, of children and young people, and stopping the flow of illegal money to illegal gangs and, and organized crime. The regime in place today has failed miserably, and perpetuating the status quo is absolutely the wrong thing to do. For Lethbridge. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, science has shown that marijuana is linked to serious health concerns, both mentally and physically, especially to our young people under the age of 25. Yet the Prime Minister still insists on pushing forward marijuana legalization. Mr. Speaker, with the Liberals admit to us that marijuana is in fact a causal factor for these illnesses and that their policies will not protect the Canadian children that we love. Yeah. Minister of Health. may be aware of the troubling statistics that show up to a quarter of teenagers are in fact currently using marijuana. This is a troubling fact. As my colleague, the Minister of Public Safety, has already indicated, the current approach to marijuana is not working. Because of the potential risks, our government is introducing new legislation which will legalize marijuana, which will regulate it and will restrict access to keep Canadians safe and to keep them healthy. For Vaughan Woodbridge. 